The problem in my community is that people don't respect each other like our neighbors. They don't respect us and we don't respect them. I would like to change it by making a block party, maybe. Getting all the community together, our neighborhood and everything. This change is important because we'll be respecting each other more. We'll say our highs and byes when we see each other the outside. We won't roll our eyes or do anything disrespectful to each other. It'll benefit us a lot because we're not gonna feel either better or than others because I, like, some of us have other stuff in our yards and we see them and others don't have a lot so it'll benefit us a lot by being equal to each other. It'll look more positive, more happier. People will seem happier when they're outside. It'll be different because you'll see everything positive. People are happy. I really don't care what they see me but I just want them to say something positive about me. The problem in my community is thiefing. And I would like to change that by not telling people it's wrong. And like giving them a broader message and get it through their heads. They still because they want the stuff that other people have but they can't get it. like if they don't have enough money to get it or they just don't feel like getting it or they just give up and they just lazy. Like, especially if you steal from old people, that's, that's sad. Because old people, they don't really have nothing, and you're just trying to take everything else that they have left. It is important to me because it is sad to see people go through tragedy, and it's sad to see people, like, when their stuff get taken, like, stuff they really care about. It is important to the community so we can come together and be brothers and sisters, and, like, respect each other more friendliness. I plan to encourage people and to get messages through their head. I want to make posters, like I would get on the news and make broadcasts and stuff, daily broadcasts. And I would get on Instagram, I would follow every single person, I don't care how many people I would follow, a whole bunch of people. And I would just post random things throughout the day like, be kind, don't steal, don't steal your mama watching, don't steal, don't steal, don't steal, don't steal. And then it would retweet and retweet and retweet and retweet. And then they'll get so many likes and comments, it would be on the popular page. And then people would be like, oh, since she's on the popular page, I must do what she says. People would say that I made the world better and that I should be the new Obama, <laughs> but the female version. A problem in my community is littering. I would like to change it by opening a center and having people come together and clean up. It's important to my community because it um it like a per it helps people like if they want to move in, it makes us look cleaner and better. It will benefit me and my family and others because it, it would look um, cleaner, nicer, civilized, and everybody would be happy because it's clean. I hope people will say good things about me, like thank me for all the help that I did and all the time that I put in to making our community cleaner. So a problem in my community is violence and bullying and basically things like that. So I'm not really sure how I would like to change it, but I know that it needs to be stopped because it's like very important and people get hurt from it. For example, I was on my way home and across the street there were two boys. They were just fighting and punching each other in the face and I just thought that was just sad because there, there was there was no reason for them to be fighting. I mean, they're two little kids, they don't need to be fighting. And then there was like people encouraging it. They was like punching them in the face and stuff. And that just didn't make sense to me. 
And so I think this is important for my community because it's ridiculous that they are even fighting and that um, violence is just bad, it shouldn't happen. It'll benefit me because, well, it'll stop people um, from, you know, getting hurt. Like, for example, I was at my, um, my cousin's great-grandmother's house and I had brought my, a friend over and we were just playing outside, playing with the leaves, because it was fall. And this car drove past and it just shot and we got scared so we just ran back in the house. So like, just dangerous things like that, it would slow down. And it would benefit others because others won't have to go through um, what many other people um, have experienced. Like, deaths because of gunshots, that's ridiculous, it shouldn't happen. What I would do to make sure that this change happens is that I would just get the message out there, really help people understand how wrong this is and like what's going on. I mean, it's crazy what people do out here these days for drugs, guns, and just plain old fights that get people in big trouble. After I help my community, um, or even just the city, the world, or just to, you know, help somebody, it would probably be a lot safer because the whole reason things are unsafe is because of violence. And if I stop all the bullying, the gangs, the guns, and the fighting, there's like more peace-like things. I can really relate to people who have been through stuff like this because um, last year I was on my way home and my mom picked me up and she tells me that my cousin, he was shot in the head and shot in the leg. He was shot twice. So that just really disturbed me. And then I found out that my cousins had to clean it up. Like it was just crazy. And I was there, people were, it was, it was just messed up. So I hope people realize that violence is not the answer to almost anything because it just leads us into more trouble. Like violence should be stopped, bullying should be stopped, gangs and guns should be, should be ended. Like there's, I, there's not that big of a purpose for them to be doing this. So I hope, I don't really care about what people say about me, but like because this is such an important thing, I, people, I think people would admire the, thing, the things I've done or hope to do in the future to change what is going on because it's, it's just really very important. Killing and shooting. People are like scared these days to go outside. I say to go to the police officer and to, put them, to lock them up. I say to make signs around the, uh, the home room. I, I say to Stop uh, killing and shooting everybody was every single day. There was thank the police officer. A good person and a nice person. Well, it's not in my community. It's all over the world, world hunger. I threw away some food. And then my mama was like, kids up in Africa don't eat that food. I mean, could eat that food, they eat dirt. So she took me to a homeless shelter and she made me feed them food. And they was eating nasty food, like glue. And I'm like, I wouldn't eat that. I'd rather eat dirt. So that's why I want to make food for the homeless, and it gotta be good food, like hamburgers. Oh. It'll benefit me by making me happy. 
Cause I guess love given to people. <laughs> okay, uh, it will benefit other people by making them happy also. Even the people who don't eat the food, it's gonna make them happy to see that somebody finally helped people out. I plan to go to college, become a veterinarian, a world famous veterinarian, get all the money, all the extra money that I don't need, like most rich people that I don't need, and spend it on the restaurant and the free food and everything. The world will look better. Africa will look better. And I know my one small change will make a big difference. You know, we wouldn't see a whole bunch of them commercials talking about you know the commercials where them African kids are so skinny and stuff and looking and stuff, looking the way they looking. We wouldn't see a whole bunch of them commercials. Well, I just want them to remember me. I just want them to say, Jasmine Wilkerson. Now, let me tell you about her. And then I want a day called, called cause my restaurant, my restaurant gonna be called free. So I want a day call free. And that's and then all the schools gonna get let out. And everybody will eat one of my world famous foods. A problem in my community is our schools that the children are going to is not perfect. I would change it by making a better school, by putting better teachers in there and um, picking students that don't have an attitude. It's important to me and my community because we need our education, education rights. I'm gonna be a funder for the school. I'm gonna become famous after basketball. I'm, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna make the school with my money that I don't need and then hire the best teachers and principals I can. The perfect school would be like you could choose whatever class you want to go to. It can be one or two classes. It can be math and science. It can be art and music. I think that's the same thing but still. It can be reading and English reading it in math, doesn't matter. As long as you have two classes. It'll make the school better because um, the students will have a choice and students like having choices. They don't like having to do what other people tell them to do. Students will be like trying to reach the standards to go to their school because it sounds so awesome. So it will make all the students around in the community better. I hope people after I make this change happen, will think positively of me.